Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about ACLs, access control lists. An ACL identifies traffic based on characteristics of the packet that's going to go through the router, such as its source IP address and or its destination IP address and or the layer 4 port number. The router or switch can take an action then based on the result of the ACL. ACLs are supported on both routers and switches, but if I say router or switch or router and switch every time in this section, I'll be saying it 500 times a lecture, so I'll just refer to routers. But whenever I say routers, it applies to switches as well. The original use of ACLs was a security feature, which helped decide if traffic should be allowed to pass through the router or not. And if you talk to somebody about ACLs, that's still normally the first thing that they will think about. By default, a router will allow all traffic to pass between its interfaces. And by default, ACLs are not applied. But when ACLs are applied, the router identifies traffic and then decides if it will be allowed or not. But ACLs are not just used for security nowadays, they're also used in many other software policies when traffic has to be identified. For example, to identify traffic to give better service to in a QoS, quality of service policy. Or to identify traffic to translate to a different IP address in a NAT, Network Address Translation Policy. We'll be covering both QoS and NAT in later sections, and you'll see how to use ACLs to control them then. Access control lists are made up of access control entries, ACEs, which are a series of permit or deny rules. And each ACE is written in a separate line that makes up the ACL. So here's an example of an access control entry. The command syntax is access list to start, then a number, such as 100. There is actually special meaning to the numbers that we'll get to in the next lecture. Then the action, which will be a permit or deny. Then the protocol, such as TCP or UDP or ICMP. Then we get to the source section, and there is a field for the IP and then for the wildcard mask, then a qualifier such as less than or greater than or equal, and then the source port number. Then the next section is about the destination. We've got the destination IP address, the destination wildcard mask, a qualifier again, and then the destination port. So that is the syntax of an access control entry. And when we're writing our access control list, it's made up of multiple access control entries. So you can see here's an example of an ACL. We've got access list 100, deny TCP from 10.10.10.10, so that would be the particular host. When the source port number is greater than 49151, and it's going a destination 10.10.50.10, so it's going a particular host again, and when the destination port number is 23. And then we've got three other access control entries, and all of these together make up the rules that control the traffic that's going to be allowed or not allowed going through the router. Okay, so that is an overview of access control lists. In the next lecture, we're going to start digging deeper into the syntax of the ACL, starting with that number at the start, 100 in this example, and what that means. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. 
If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.